Hello and welcome. We have made it to Portland, Oregon, and it is a steaming hot 95 degrees outside, which we were not expecting, but it's actually kind of nice to feel some warmth on the body for once because we've been in the winter for like what seems to be the last five months. So our very first stop will actually be an overview of the city and we are going to hike up and kind of see what Portland looks like from high above. Claire is putting on her polka dot socks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually raise my leg that high. Kind of stretched my muscles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So we are currently at the Pitok Mansion and it's actually a 1900s 23 room French Renaissance style chateau and definitely looks quite grand. We're not gonna go inside, but we are gonna go check out the view that it has of the city. So looking out right above the city of Portland, you can actually see Mount Hood, which is actually a volcano. So it's this gigantic snow-capped triangle off in the distance, and it is so beautiful. And because it's such a clear day, you can see it perfectly. So pretty. So we've now driven down into the city and because Portland is known for its art scene, there are actually so many reclaimed art supply stores and this is especially great for me because I'm a huge fan of reclaimed art supplies and so we are gonna go check out Scrap. <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Scrap is closed today. Oh. One day of the week that they're closed, we visit. Um, but, oh well, next time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Well, we are now looking at pigeons, but I think we're gonna head over to a thrift shop called Buffalo Exchange, which I've been to over in Denver, and it's a really cool place. Um, we're gonna walk there and check that place out. Five more minutes with the pigeons. Oh my dear. I wish to lead a country life Hard work, low wages And these days They lie ahead of us Just out of reach We're making changes Out of the book you turn So we don't go shopping very often So it's kind of fun looking through some clothes we didn't buy anything, obviously, because it's not in the budget, but it was just a nice little treat to go try on some new outfits. <laughs> yeah, it's like old times before COVID and everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. but because it is so hot outside and because Portland is known for their breweries, we are gonna go try one out. And we'll actually be meeting up with someone else who has the exact same van as us. Uh, he built it out, it looks absolutely beautiful. And um, we're trying to figure out which brewery. He has a dog, so we're gonna see if the dog is coming or not. Um, um, but we'll catch you guys up in just a second once we figure out which brewery we're going to. So he does not have his dog with him, so we have decided to go to Hub. A couple days ago, Chad put up a poll asking for the best brewery in Portland, and the majority answer was Hub, so that's where we'll be going. This little home, this dog All right, while we wait on our friend, we got some drinks. Yes, and I got the Robot Panda, which has notes of papaya in it. Yes, and I got their favorite hazy IPA, which is the Pig War. Wait, yes. Do I introduce Yeah, to... introduce our friend. Right, so our friend here is Milo, and he's another Transit Connect uh, friend. <laughs> yes, and we're gonna check out his van in just a sec, um, but we're gonna eat these pretzels in the meantime. <laughs> we are now heading to go see Milo's van. Whoa! Wow, the craftsmanship. <laughs> it's like already to be shown. <laughs> like, <laughs> it smells like a new home it's too. Very, very <laughs> clean right now. Is that a door? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> this is 
That is so cool. <laughs> so you can work on things too. So then, is this your gray water uh, or no, fresh water? Fresh water. Oh, gray nice. Water's okay. Under the sink. All right, I'm ready for the kitchen. Ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Storage, storage area. Wow. Yeah, and then the fridge. That's your fridge? Yeah, the fridge pulls out. <laughs> this is wild. A little Swiss Army now. I so looked at this fridge. It's. It, do you like it? Yeah. I haven't yeah. Issue. Yeah. yeah. You have a bike down there, I Claire. Oh. Underneath. I took wow. my passenger seat out for the dog, yeah. and then there was enough storage under there for an e-bike. It fits perfectly in there, yeah. actually. Oh, I was shocked. So we just got done seeing Milo's van and it was gorgeously built out and it was just awesome seeing another van that's the same as ours but with a different design. So what a treat it was to see that van. So thank you Milo for sharing that with us. So we actually offered a place to stay in Portland by Nathaniel and Anirud. And these people have been following us since the East Coast which is pretty awesome. And they actually gave us these wonderful Primo gift cards which have been supplying us with water while we were on the West Coast. So we will be staying with them tonight and we also stayed with them last night and hopefully we'll catch dinner with them as well. So we are currently on our way to Taquiera Los Bos. <laughs> Here, where are we going? <laughs> so it's Taqueria Los Puñales. Ooh, and we're going to get some tacos. Yes, and these are our wonderful hosts, by the way. They're even driving us to the dinner spot, which is so nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> There's a winter that is over now There's a summer just begun Drops of water trickle down my glass As they shimmer in the sun As they glimmer in the sun So what do we have here? Okay, so we have the sampler plates. Yeah, the sampler plates. Uh, yes, and what's special about this place is that they make like all the fillings are stew. Well, the fillings are stew. So guisado, each of them are just stew. So you have barbacoa. I think this one is pork with a little carnitas. And then this next one is the uh, mole poblano, which is like a chocolate sauce. And then this next one, I believe, is the chicken, right? The tinga. And then this last one is the big steak, which is my favorite. Has potato in it, but the steak is, I think it's filling me out. It's really good. Okay. And then you want to show them this one thing over Beautiful. here. <laughs> so these are the barbacoa. It's the same one, but the outside is fried in the beef fat. Oh. So it's crispy. Oh, nice. And then the shrimp tacos, which is very, very good here. Wow. And we also have horchata. Horchata. And then this one is just, uh, I think it's a lime made. Lime, jalapeno. Cucumber yeah. and jalapeno. <laughs> And you guys discover this place because of a Netflix documentary. Of a Netflix documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about these very special tacos. So. All right, let's Thank eat. In the sun. So we have relocated to Alberta Street Park and we now have some Ethiopian food that we're going to try. And oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> We obviously have some really amazing hosts that also really enjoy food, so we are so lucky. <laughs> yes. Now the days are getting longer again, like they have in years before. All the heat is getting stronger, my friend. It's like the devil at my We got the scoop. Yay! It's like the devil at my they out of waffle balls. Yeah. So this is a waffle ball. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the fireflies prance in the dark. Everything feels better after midnight. Summer wine, no regrets. Shadows dance with their cigarettes. Everything feels better. So we've made it back to our home for the night at Nathaniel and Annie Rue's place and this is such a cool apartment like it's yeah. so beautifully decorated and it has the biggest and most defined library that I've 
ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Like, I'm actually blown away by the collection they have. What a fantastic day yeah, it's been. Yeah, it's been so amazing. First off, Portland is such a beautiful city. It's just really cool to see all the local commissions and artwork with all the yeah. murals throughout the city. Mm -hmm. There's so much color and it's so integrated with all the plants and the nature here. And the food, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. we definitely chose the right house to stay with. They literally treated us to the best things ever like we had the most amazing tacos and wow the ice cream at salt and straw that yeah. was fantastic they picked up ethiopian food yeah oh, that's so good like i am so grateful right now and i can't yeah. believe how generous they are and the hospitality they've shown for us is just it mm. like melts my Unmatched. heart yeah. <laughs> yeah they're both um out walking their cute little dog lily which we'll show in a bit mm -hmm. um but Oh, I'm so thankful that we also have yeah. a place to sleep, a place to shower. So we are going to end the video for the day here. But yes, digest yes. all the amazing food we've eaten today. Shower. Yeah, shower, get clean, and just sleep and so shower. well tonight. Yeah, but well. we will catch you guys tomorrow for another day. We actually have no idea what we're going to do, so we're going to figure it out, and then we'll catch you in the morning. Yep. Good night. Bye. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Behind me, you hear the sweet sound of our laundry going, so we are getting all of our clothes clean. And they have surprised us with another sandwich today. So yesterday when we woke up, uh, we got some Mexican sandwiches that were so incredibly good. And today, uh, Chad already had his sandwich because <laughs> I was sleeping on it. Um, but apparently they have banh mi's for us today. So I'm gonna go see what's cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> And we have a cute little friend that watches over us at night. <laughs> I thought the dog was here. You might have your company, but I've got these lines and memories to hold. And keep close, cause you're blue. On a cloudy day. Dust falling down from the ceiling fan Tracks of a past life, steps and plans I'd follow And the world just turns like a record spins I close my eyes, smell the rain rolling cracked all right, so we've been editing a video all day, but now it is dinner time, and we're actually gonna pack up uh, the van because we are heading out of Portland after dinner. Um, and then we are continuing the food tour tonight. Such a nice workspace. Super nice. Our bed is all packed up. I'm gonna miss it here. I love it here. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. Bye, I'll miss you. You might have your sympathy, but I've got this time a fire and peace. Alright, so this evening we will be going to two different places and we are starting off with Flying Fish Co. And apparently they have really good fresh oysters and Nathaniel and Aniru will be treating us to some tonight. And if you know me, you know I'm a huge sucker for oysters, so I'm so excited. And they should be pretty pretty good because Portland is somewhat close to the coast, so let's go try it. <laughs> So we got whalebacks, mirror points, both out of Maine, rubies out of Washington, all right? Wow. Of oh my goodness. Oh, did not come out? <laughs> so next up on our food tour, we're going to an Indonesian place called Wajan. It's also our last spot of the day, and it's very sad. Oh, they're actually walking towards us. We should go. Oh, here they are. <laughs> My favorite meal. It's a good choice. Nice, <laughs> thank you. Wow. Start by 
Okay. And you have uh, eggplant and sambal with a hard boiled egg. Mm. And then jackfruit curry. <gasps> jackfruit. Nice. Blame to the blame for, for frying the lies in a pan. Praying to someone listening to no one. We're leaving them. I'm so sad. Bye bye. <laughs> So we are officially back in the van and tonight is actually our last night in Oregon which is so sad but we do have to keep going because we only have like one month, a month left. Yeah. yeah, which is so Time crazy. Time has flown by. Yeah, we have a couple more states to cross off but wow what a treat yeah. Oregon was like all together absolutely amazing and just being able to hang out with people the last few yeah. days was so so nice. Yeah, it was really refreshing I feel mm -hmm. like a human again yeah We're not just like two people that you know two rodents that live in a van like mm -hmm. it was so nice to be able to stretch and yeah. move around definitely feel ready to, to keep going yeah and also just like meeting milo aniru and nathaniel mm -hmm. it just like really reminded me of the amazing community that we have here on youtube like we wouldn't have met any of them if it weren't for our channel and so yeah. i'm just so grateful for that and I'm just so happy that we get to connect with so many people we yeah. would otherwise never meet. So cool seeing like the digital side become reality. I mm -hmm. love it. And it's yeah. it's something I definitely want to do in the future. Mm -hmm. Like it'd be really fun to have a meetup yeah. sometime. Yeah, someone was saying like you should do an epic uh, weekend camping trip with all the people that kind of watch our channel. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like such a fun idea. Yeah. So maybe we'll plan that one day. <laughs> it'd be so much fun. but. As always, thank you guys so much for joining us in Oregon. We are mm -hmm. so excited to keep sharing on this channel and yeah. just watching it grow, our community. Definitely. It's so awesome. But until then, we will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh my dear, I wish to lead a country life.